Hello, and we are back again with another mission of Rogue Leader. And this time we will be taking on a Star Destroyer. Large task, but it's a little bit more simple than you think, although it's tough, still tough. When I was, remember when I was in middle school, like I said, I played this when I was in middle school. Luke Skywalker has helped uncover secret data vital to the Rebellion and has placed it on board a Rebel blockade runner, the Razor. Assemble a task force and rendezvous with the Razor, now in orbit around Coplis. Escort the Razor to Rebel High Command and take whatever steps are necessary to ensure safe delivery of the secret data. Okay, we'll be using the B-Win this time. But, this was actually the first mission that I've ever gotten stuck on in this game many years back. One of the Rebellion's most well-armed starfighters, the B-Wing, has been personally designed by Admiral Akbar. The B-Wing supports an array of weapons, including ion cannons, proton torpedo launchers, and laser cannons. Because the cockpit is surrounded by a unique gyro stabilization system, the pilot always remains stationary, even as the rest of the ship rotates during flight. Very brief description, but this is a very advanced ship. If you were to play Empire War Forces of Corruption Expansion Pack, this little bomber fighter is very important. A lot more important than the Y-Wing, I'll tell you that much. It's a lot quicker, and it can actually take on other ships easier than the Y-Wing can, because the, the Y-Wing is so slow. Wedge, an Imperial cruiser. It's captured the Razor. Wedge here. We can't let that data get away. Attack the shield generators. Once the shields are down, we can attack the command deck. X and A-Wing groups. Keep those fighters off our backs. So what I'm gonna do orders, is I'm gonna go get that upgrade while my guys my get ties. Twin ion engine. Fighters. fighters. See that little shuttle? Rogue leader, this is the frigate. We're under attack. They're going after the frigate. We've got to protect the frigate at all costs. You've received the advanced proton bomb tech upgrade. Where, where, where are my, where's my, where's my, uh, frigate? I can't see it. Is it down? Yes, it is. Okay. Now that I got the upgrade, we're good to go. Oh my god. But yeah, that upgrade was a little tricky to find if you didn't know where to look. I mean, why... Why would you go straight towards that area of the Star Destroyer, and why would you just happen to kill that shuttle, you know? I mean, curiosity would be one thing, but still, that's hard to deduce. Oh, that's where it's going to be. I mean, even in the first mission, right next to that tower, it's so hard to see those upgrades. So that's, that's one little thing I got to rant I have about how hard it is to find upgrades that you pretty much need in order to uh, do very well in order to do gold um, gold medal hunting if you into that completionist people this game's gold medals are hard to get I'll tell you that and a TIE fighter just crashed right into me it's very annoying because these lives are very valuable in this mission. And I felt like those fighters right over there were about to crash into me too. And it's, it's pretty much really hard to see in space when the TIE Fighters are black. So, I sympathize a little bit with the Rebel pilots in the movies. Their inability to kill them sometimes is understandable considering it's black space. It's hard to see. Let's go after the Star Destroyer. Just as it is hard to see in this game, that's how it is in the in practically probably in the Star Wars universe. Because how you see it on your computer screen, it's actually harder to see my TV. My TV's old. Never mind. Let him go. Nah, they need, the they need to be dealt with. Alright, so let's see if I can take down at least two of the shield generators right now. It's so hard. There's so many guns. It's a wonder they didn't show so many guns in the movies. There's so many. It's crazy. Take down those two real quick. 
and that one. And then so that it's only the TIE Fighters after me. There's so many TIE Fighters too. Oh my gosh, my wingmen are out here too. This is not good. They're gonna die. Alright, alright, alright. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I shot four. Whatever. We're all good. We're all good. Okay. This is really hard. You know, you cannot get shot down. You have to be all maneuverable and stuff. And, um... One down, two to go. I hope... Oh, and it's hard to also to dodge the TIE Fighters because sometimes they're little kamikazes. Little suicidal. It's these TIE Pilots. All those guns. Okay. Now let's take out the last one underneath. Yeah, five proton torpedoes for the last one with its name on it. Oh my gosh. I always forget how hard this mission is. I didn't even take I didn't even take out the blast shield. Although it was close. Well, my last life, come on. Wow. Okay. Now let's hit that command deck. Gotta get the command deck real quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is always so tough. Why does it always have to be so hard? There we go. Captain, a Star Destroyer. It's crashing into the planet. Let's contact command for support. Getting to the Razor's gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, wow. I shut down a lot of enemies, but I didn't lose any friendlies either. Lost two lives. But if I were just quicker, I would have gotten a medal. It's all about speed in this one. It's ridiculous because it's just hard to do. Anyways, that was the Razor Rendezvous mission. Take down a star to by itself. It's hard. But I will guarantee you, in another later mission, it gets more than twice as hard, I'll tell you that.